For Big Purple Couch, I am Celia Grimbley, and I am here with Max from the Arkells. Max, how are you doing tonight? Very well, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, so right off the bat, I'm going to talk to you about your new album coming out. Michigan Left is out October 18th. Yeah. Um, how is it going to compare to Jackson Square? Um, we like it just as much as like as Jackson Square. I don't know how everyone else is going to think of it, but uh, we're really excited about it. We, we were sitting on the songs for a couple of years, and uh, last February, March, we went to the studio and recorded them. And yeah, we're really excited to show it to people. So yeah, I mean... For us, uh, it's a pretty thorough editing process, and for a song to actually become finished means that we labored over it for a while. So once it gets to that point, you know, we feel pretty good about each song. Has the sound changed at all, or do we expect to hear some of the same things that we've heard on Jackson Square? I mean, it's the same in the way that you know we still like having songs with choruses and songs that are fun to sing along, and I think that was a pretty, um, I guess, like, captivating thing for people to listen to and to come see us play with Jackson Square. So uh, sonically it sounds a little bit differently just because we've been listening to new bands and it's, so it's not going to sound as much like a thick and meaty rock record as Jackson Square was. It's still a rock and roll record for sure, but there's some more modern influences. There's some weirder keyboard stuff, weirder guitar tones. Um, but the principle, like the fundamental part of it, is, it kind of remains the same. Um, so you guys are trying to kind of maintain the same image that you guys have had before, same sound more or less? Uh, yeah, I mean, image-wise, we, we got haircuts, and <laughs> uh, my beard might be slightly thinner than it used to be. I, this is a new jacket. Well, it's a hand-me-down. It's my friends. It's kind of... <laughs> uh, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, it's like we could try to... Like, there's a couple songs I was showing it to my dad, and I was like, oh, th we totally tried to rip off Fleetwood Mac. And he said... Oh uh, yeah, I can kind of hear it. So even when we're trying to like blatantly rip off someone, it always kind of sounds like us, no matter what. Um, so here you guys are pretty big sports fans. Uh, you guys joined up with the Sports Network, TSN, to do a fantasy pool. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, uh, we are big sports fans, and Nick is actually glued to the TV right now. He's watching the playoffs, the baseball playoffs right now. And so originally it just started off as a small idea where we'd ask James Sabolski, who we've met a number of times, and he's a fan of the band, and he's a really nice guy. We asked him if he wanted to be like a celebrity guest in a league that we play against our friends, and then it kind of um, just steamrolled into like uh, a bunch of different bands wanting to play and different sports personalities wanting to play. So it's like an 18-team league with about three or four contest winners, and then there's like Tokyo Police Club has a team, uh, Said the Whale, San Sebastian, us and then there's an actor from flashpoint and it's pretty diverse so the point of fantasy leagues is just to sort of talk, talk trash and <laughs> and try to pretend like you're a general manager right. so we thought that'd be fun so it's actually we've had a few of those bands that you named uh, come through western so right. it's nice you guys can join that roster um i'm actually going to quote a tweet that you guys did because i follow you guys on twitter oh, nice. um because yeah. you mentioned your hand-me-down jacket uh, is it too much to ask Value Village goodwill <laughs> to lease for a hipster section of the store? Losing my patience here, hashtag rock band problems. <laughs> How important is image to you guys in terms of uh, being a hipster, I guess? No, I mean, <laughs> I, that was actually me that tweeted that. And now uh, uh, there's a secondhand store called Talese, uh in Hamilton. I mean, I don't know. If you, if you, I don't even know what hipster really means anymore. And that was sort of, uh, I don't know, being sarcastic with that tweet. But... Couldn't find those thick rim glasses. No, I mean, <laughs> there, I definitely like think it's cool to go to a show and see a band that like looks sharp, and I guess like we try to do that. But if you like knew any of us, it's, I think we're pretty nerdy, approachable guys. So it's not hipster in like the New York sense of the word. I was just complaining because my friend Sean, who actually plays in San Sebastian, who who this Jack used to belong to, he always finds really cool stuff there, and I just don't have any patience to actually like rummage through uh, I know I'm like dials. that too people always say they get stuff from winners know, and I'm like I'm never gonna find I saw them on TV they were on San Sebastian was on a new music live on much music today and I was watching back home in Hamilton and they all look so sweet I was like uh, they just have more patience than me when they go to the thrift store so I don't know well you guys uh, have won a Juno which was last year new group of the year how did that make you guys feel it's cool I mean um, yeah, well, first of all, yeah, to win a Juno is a very exciting thing and, like, something that our parents were very proud of us for. They all flew out to Newfoundland to celebrate, and they were there for the whole weekend with us. Um, I mean, unlike sports, 
like music's not something you set out to do to in like a competition. Mm -hmm. uh, you just do it to try to, you know, make music that you're really proud of and you want to show it to people. But it's never like I want to come first place in music. That's not really the way it works. So we've gotten a few accolades and a few awards. And when they come up, we go, oh, wow, that's that's great. And, but it, when we were writing the song, it's not like when you're training for a team where you're like, we're doing this to win the championship. When you're writing a song, you're doing it you know, to share it with the people you're collaborating with and you're doing it to share it with other people that are coming to listen to you play. Um, but it's not not to win an award. But with that said, it's cool. I don't know. Or yeah. It's nice to say that. Um, do you guys have any goals for the future, any sort of things that you want to achieve uh, over the next year? Yeah, I mean, I think the plan is, um, is to, yeah, to keep on going. I mean, we're really, I think, fortunate to, to be in the position that we are, that we get to come to Western and uh my friend eli uh to come to western and play for like a bunch of kids and we went to mcmaster and we went to these shows when we were in school so it's like really exciting to do that and if we can do more of that that that's great um i heard you guys open for the tragically hip yeah we've done it a couple times now. um is it is that more exciting for you or do you like playing local shows for people that you run into and stuff like that yeah no each kind of show is different and good for its own reason like we just played new york city where we're not very well known, but that had its own set of challenges, and it was, but it was also really exciting for us. Uh, and then when we come back to London, there's going to be 600 kids crammed in a club. That's like a really amazing feeling to know that people are there and you know, they want to sing along to your songs, and that's like probably the best part about being in a band, at least in my opinion, is that people. And then when we open for bigger bands like The Tragedy of the Hip, it's also a challenge, but it's also really fun because you get to play for you know 10 or 15 thousand people. So we, so we're in a lot of situations that. We never thought we'd be in, and I think we're just, we try to have fun with each one. Great. Thank you so much, Max. I enjoy looking or hearing the show later tonight. Yeah, you can look at the show, too. Yeah, I'll look. I'll, I'll be looking. I your, I your new haircuts Watch and your thinner beard. Yeah. Thanks so much for Paperbook Couch. I'm Celia Grimbley with Max from the Arc House.